Welcome to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a donder. Welcome to Desmond's Donders from Logie Bridge at Furness. Currently sat in the van just waiting for the rain to ease off and then we'll head out for a walk. It's a typical autumn day really, although it is the 1st of February and springtime. Let's go take a walk around and have a look. The trail down takes you down to another parking area. But it's wet, so we're probably not going to visit that, at least not in Desmond. And your bird life about. It disappears every time we get a visit from the traffic nearby. So this is our view from one side. Let's go and see what's around the back. Although I'm outside the van, this is the picture I could take from the window this weekend. There's the bridge. Let's go and take a closer look. The River Fendor, great salmon fishing river in full state, not long before the season starts. Quite a busy road that goes across this bridge, but let's have a look from the other direction. As the river flows down to the sea, on that left bank there appears to be a trail which we will follow, explore and see if we can get down by the river. And there, poking out through the trees, you can see him, is Desmond at the park up. We're as level as we ever get. seen great tits, long tailed tits, crows, rooks, wood pigeon, but so far none have wanted to sit still long enough to have their picture taken. On the wildlife front, just a rabbit. Bridge 
it crosses the River Findhorn between Furness and Redburn on the A939. The bridge is a three arch structure built in local stone with two arches spanning the river itself. The central arch is considerably wider than the two flanking arches and it was built by Thomas Telford around 1816 as part of his improvements to the Nairnshire roads. The bridge was built under direction of the Highland and Roads and Bridges Commission. It was designed by Telford and completed around 1816, the contractor being George Byrne. The arches are 36 feet, 55 feet and 36 feet, similar in construction to its contemporary bridges at Afford and Patach in Aberdeenshire. During the Great Flood of 1829, the water level rose 27 feet above its normal level. The bridge was severely tested when a large ash tree with a large triple stem was brought down and after rising 40 or 50 feet above the water, sunk into the vortex at the main arch. Stone first, though for three or four minutes it stuck, and I quote, groaning and bellowing as if from torture, and then appeared darting below the lower side of the bridge shorn of its mighty honours. The only damage to the bridge at this time was the loss of part of its southern wing, walls and roadway. Oh look, there's some blue sky, but that's not the way we're heading. Some signs of spring. And through the trees, some signs of the river. Let's walk on. And on an out and back walk, what goes down We've got to go back up. Not that far though. And not that high. Diary. 31st of January 2020. Well tonight did not go to plan but we still ended up where we first planned to be. Let me explain. We were originally thought of Logie Bridge for this weekend. We've not been here since 2017 and it's a nice relaxing place. During the week though, I came up with a cunning plan to visit Fort George. However, this fell apart when the planned park ups were all blocked up or had height barriers. It was dark and wet so rather than search for a spot, we headed for Logie Bridge. We got parked up and then settled in for the night. Fort George will just have to wait. First of February, 2020. It was a very wet morning when we woke. There were few people about, mostly canoeists, 
ferrying between access points to the river. The rain eased and we went out for a wander. Later, when the rain had stopped, we went for a longer walk along the trails. Returning to the van, it was time to listen to the opening salvos of the Six Nations. We then had a relaxing evening with radio coverage of the rugby. We saw a buzzer today along with great and long tailed tits. Second of February 2020. We woke to minus four degrees outside. Everything was frosty. After breakfast and the RSGB news on 40 metres, we ventured out to take some frosty photos. There were more canoeists about, but they were dropping off a vehicle to their return trip, so no photos. Time to head back inside for a warming copper, and then, unfortunately, soon time to head for home. It's a cold and frosty morning at Logie Bridge. which showed us green yesterday it's now white with the frost It doesn't look much different from when we saw it yesterday but now the landscape is tinged with frost. Wildlife, rabbit, birds, wood pigeon, rook, black headed gull, great tit, long tailed tit, buzzard, carrion crow, robin, blackbird, red legged partridge, gadwall, and grey heron.
for watching Desmond's Darkness. We we'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.